And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? None of that crazy stuff ever happened. I mean, I mean sure, I, I beat the Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. We are deep in the heart of the Lone Star State, the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas for another edition of Friday Night Smackdown. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of WWE 2K20, my career mode ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the 25th episode and we've got a heck of a lineup in store for you ladies and gentlemen. So do me a big favor, before we begin today's episode, smash that thumbs up button as hard as possible you can. Share this video on social media. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, please turn them notifications on to stay notified. Tonight on Friday Night Smackdown, we are two and a half years into Kristen Murphy's reign as the Smackdown Women's Champion. Tonight, Kristen Murphy will be coming out to the ring to celebrate her two and a half year reign as Women's Champion as she is dubbing it the Kristen Murphy's Celebration of Excellence. That will be taking place tonight on Smackdown Live and she will also have a major announcement in store during that celebration but coming up next we are going to take you back to a match that took place over a year ago during this two and a half year reign as Kristen Murphy would defend the Smackdown Women's Championship against Tony Storm at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view inside Hell in a Cell. Ladies and gentlemen, we have that matchup for you right now. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's kick off Friday Night Smackdown. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the Smackdown Women's Championship. It's hard to believe that two and a half years ago, Kristen Murphy defeated Mickey James to become the SmackDown Women's Champion. And two and a half years later, she is now the longest reigning Women's Champion of the modern era. And the reason why she's been able to hold on to this championship for as long as she has is because she's blown through the competition. She's taken on any and all challengers, whether it be from Raw, SmackDown, NXT, NXT UK, it doesn't matter. Kristen Murphy ended up defeating them all in the ring. And tonight, we are going to show you one of those matches that took place last year as Kristen Murphy would defend the championship against Tony Storm. It's Tony time, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
Tony Storm, the former Stardom Women's World Champion, the former NXT UK Women's Champion, and the winner of the 2018 May Young Classic. Tony Storm, like Kristen Murphy, took on any and all challengers when she held the NXT UK Women's Championship. She defeated Rhea Ripley for that belt. But since that time, Tony Storm has been on a downward spiral. And ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, we will have the SmackDown Women's Championship flashback after this timeout. Don't you dare go away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Friday Night SmackDown. The bell has sounded. Here we go. We are bringing you a flashback match from a year ago to celebrate Kristen Murphy's two and a half year reign as SmackDown Women's Champion. Kristen Murphy, one year ago, defended the SmackDown Women's Championship against Tony Storm at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view inside Hell in a Cell. That, this would be your main event of the evening that night. And Tony Storm now in control with a hip attack on the back of Kristen Murphy. If you injure the back of Kristen Murphy, she ain't going to be able to go for the Code Red or the Death Valley Driver, which is what Tony Storm just used right there. Tony Storm is not here to play. She means business. A little bit of cockiness by the former NXT UK Women's Champion. And there's a slap to the face. Now Tony Storm in control. Now there's a wrestling takedown. And now, wait a minute. Kick to the midsection, countered. Exploder T-Bone suplex by Kristen Murphy. Hell in a Cell, otherwise known as the Devil's Playground. Wait a minute, cover. And no count was made. Oh my God, Tony Storm just bounced off the middle rope. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Um, Hell in a Cell, otherwise known as the Devil's Playground has taken away so many years of the, so many superstars careers it is one of the most demonic structures in sports entertainment history it was made famous by the undertaker mick foley Shawn michaels and even triple h this was the same type of match that ended referee tim right tim white's Career. This was the same structure that back in 1998, The Undertaker would throw Mick Foley off of this same structure, off the top of the cell, not once, but twice. And now Kristen Murphy's got a table in the ring. Sling Blade! There hadn't been a women's Hell in a Cell match up until 2016 when Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks would make history at the 2016 Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. There's a knife edge chop and now Kristen Murphy is, wait a minute, springboard Hurricane Rana. And of course in 2019, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks would go to war inside Hell in a Cell and probably one of the best Hell in a Cell matches we've seen in a while. Now Kristen Murphy, she's got the Singapore cane. Oh! Ho, ho. And a kendo stick shot to the back of Tony Storm. Kristen Murphy, we know, is going to work on the back and the ribs to apply the code red scorpion cross lock submission maneuver. Of course, wait a minute. Kristen Murphy's got Tony Storm. Page Turner. That should do it. One, two, and Tony Storm kicks out at two. Kristen Murphy cannot believe it. You, you're not going to put Tony Storm away that easily. And now Kristen Murphy sends Tony Storm to the outside. Now there's not much room at ringside between the ring side area, the ring and the cell. So these ladies are going to have limited room to work with. And now Tony Storm with the elbow to the midsection. And then wait a minute, Kristen Murphy. Tony Storm went to go smash her face on the apron. And now an Irish whip and Tony Storm just goes down in a heap. 
And of course, Tony Storm, we know, has the Tiger Bomb, otherwise known as the Storm Zero. That is her bread and butter to finish a match. And wait a minute, Irish Whip in the fence now. Tony Storm felt the effects of that one. And now Krista Murphy with her right hand. That was countered. And now Krista Murphy, wait a minute, she counters the right hand from Tony Storm. Wait a minute. Oh my god! The spear for the cell wall. Let's take a look at the replay. Man, what velocity from that spear. That had to hurt Tony Storm big time. If her back's not hurting, I don't know what is. Of course, her ribs might be hurting as well. And Tony Storm is out cold. And now that allows Krista Murphy to go outside the cell. There's an opportunity for both women to fight outside the cell now. Tony Storm, we know, has had some epic battles against Kaylee Ray, B. Priestley. Rhea Ripley, of course, she defeated Exile Lee at the first ever all women's WWE pay per view evolution. And both women are going up the top of the cell. Of course, at that pay per view, Tony Storm would win the 2018 May Young Classic. Kristen Murphy would win the following year May Young Classic in 2019 by defeating Rhea Ripley in the finals at the Evolution pay-per-view. And now both women are fighting on top of the cell. This brings back some scary memories. If you all saw the Hell in a Cell matchup between Undertaker and Patrick Murphy yesterday, you know that all hell is out of control once it's up here. And now Tony Storm with a Lariant. This is a dangerous, dangerous place to be. One slip and boom, both women, either one or both women can fall off. Wait a minute, she's got Krista Murphy up. No, don't do it. Oh my God. Krista Murphy may be dead. Tony Storm tossed Kristen Murphy off the top of the cell and Kristen went through both announced tables and Kristen's up! Needle midsection now! I cannot believe Kristen Murphy was able to get up from that. Any normal human being would be in the hospital right about now, but not Kristen Murphy. And now both women are fighting on the outside. There's a needle midsection. And now, are you kidding me? Kristen Murphy, after being thrown off the top of the cell she wants to go back up she's about as crazy as Patrick Murphy and wait a minute I think Kristen Murphy's thinking better of it she just climbed down off the top of the cell and wait a minute Tony Storm's coming back to the outside and Kristen Murphy's going back up top and Tony Storm is going to follow pursuit The crowd is standing on their feet and both women are back on top of the cell. And Tony Storm that way, man. Sling blade and I think that just put a pole or a dent on one. Wait a minute, kick in the midsection. Biohazard on the steel support beam. There you see the hole that was created on one of the cell roof structures. And now Kristen, oh come on. You cannot be thinking we know you have a temper and you have a tendency to do sadistic things and Tony Storm counters whatever Krista Murphy was going for. There's a drop kick. Tony Storm trying to get the hell out of Dodge here. And now, wait a minute. Irish whip and Krista Murphy falls down luckily before she fell off the top of the cell again. This time there ain't gonna be no announce tables to save her. And Krista Murphy! Dodged whatever Tony Storm was going for. Probably a spear. Wait a minute. She's got Tony Storm out. Fall of the way. Slam. Oh my god. She hit part of the support beam. But put a dent on the other part of the cell roof. This structure is about to break here at any moment. And Tony Storm's in trouble. Krista Murphy's got her up. Oh my. Oh, 
Tony Storm was just back suplexed through the roof of the cell and she hit the canvas hard. I think this has to do it, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way Tony Storm can get up from this. And now Krista Murphy says she ain't done. She's setting up the table near the corner. Remember, anything goes. No disqualification. No count out. The referee cannot stop this match for whatever reason. This match can only end by pinfall or submission. And now Krista Murphy is putting Tony Storm on the table. And looks like she's going up top. And Krista Murphy now, she's turning around. She's going for the boot salt. And Tony Storm just barely moves out the way. And Krista Murphy crashes and burns through the table. Wait a minute. Tony Storm is going for a kick in midsection. T Bone Exploder Suplex. What a matchup. What effort put on by both women. Tony Storm barely able to move right here. And Krista Murphy is going back outside the ring. She's got another table, and she's bringing it into the ring. Looks like as if she wants to put Tony Storm through the table. She is dead set on it. And now Tony Storm, she's got Krista Murphy on the ropes. And now, wait a minute, Tony Storm, Irish whip in the ropes. And Tony Storm now, German suplex. Krista Murphy has knocked out cold. She landed on her head. And now wait a minute, kicked in the midsection, Storm Zero connects, the cover, two, and Kristen Murphy kicks out at two, what a near fall. I almost thought we were going to have a new SmackDown Women's Champion right there, and now Kristen Murphy's got her up. Death Valley Driver. That should do it, but I don't think Krista Murphy's done yet. She is dead set on putting Tony Storm through a table. And the crowd here at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view want to see somebody put through a table tonight. And now Krista Murphy has got Tony Storm by the hair. She's got her leaned up, and now she's on the table now. Krista Murphy's now, she's going up top again. Last time she went for this, she crashed and burned mood salt through the table. That had to hurt Kristen just as much as it did Tony Storm. And now she's dragging Tony in the center of the ring. I think it's pretty much evident now. Kristen Murphy has got Tony Storm right where she wants her. And now she's hooking the legs. She's got him hooked. She's got it. The code red is locked in. Tony Storm is trapped and she taps. Tony Storm taps. Kristen Murphy retains the SmackDown Women's Championship inside hell in a cell. Wow, both women went through hell tonight, but only Kristen Murphy had enough strength, enough resiliency to come out on top. Man, what? This was one of the best Hell in a Cell matches throughout 2027, and damn it, this was a damn good one. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Kristen Murphy would go on to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. Afterwards, her and Tony Storm would win PWI Match of the Year for this very matchup. In 2027, Krista Murphy would not only win PWI's Female Superstar of the Year of 2027, but she would also win PWI Wrestler of the Year in 2027. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on Friday Night SmackDown, two and a half years ago, Krista Murphy defeated Mickey James to become SmackDown Women's Champion. And tonight, she is going to celebrate that two and a half year reign at SmackDown Women's Championship. The Kristen Murphy Celebration of Excellence is coming up next. We'll be back live on SmackDown after this timeout on Fox. Don't you dare go away. Stay with us.
We're back on Friday Night Smackdown and Kristen Murphy is in the ring and she's got a mic. Since I defeated Mickie James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with a 4 or 5 count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? I think somebody else on the SmackDown roster has something to say about it. And here comes the man, Becky Lynch. She at one time held both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship simultaneously. And she was a part of the first ever women's main event of WrestleMania. And out she comes with Sheamus, Pete Dunn, Drew McIntyre, and Finn Balor. Um... Nobody's clarified the name of the group, but I guess we are going to dub these this group uh, League of Nations 2.0 and the League of Nations are surrounding the ring. This does not look good for Kristen. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that? and face the man. <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So, I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges. Not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, Everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well, if you're not going to give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. And I think Becky Lynch took offense to what Kristen Murphy said. She's got a chair, and Kristen Murphy is blocking the chair shot. Now Kristen Murphy's got a chair. Pete Dunne just handed Becky Lynch the Singapore game, and Becky Lynch is pounding the hell out of Kristen Murphy. Here comes Patrick Murphy to save the day, but the League of Nations, they are one step ahead, and now they are beating the hell out of Patrick Murphy for his troubles for trying to save Kristen Murphy. That is not Becky Lynch's championship, but Becky Lynch and the League of Nations just made one bold statement tonight on SmackDown. And after tonight, you best believe a Murphy Dynasty will be out for revenge. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we going to do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there and we want to help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look. The truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business, and we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret 
New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. <laughs> <laughs>